Welcome back to my channel and today in this video we are going to study about duplicate recessive epistasis. Now what do we mean by duplicate recessive epistasis? It is also known as complementary genes and it is the condition when either epistatic gene or hypostatic gene is recessive or both are recessive that means the phenotype will get affected. We already learned about recessive epistasis. That means when the epistatic gene is in recessive state. Dominant epistasis when the epistatic gene is in dominant state. That means the conditions when the phenotype of the hypostatic gene is getting affected. Now duplicate recessive means duplicate means when either epistatic or hypostatic gene is recessive or when both are recessive that means the phenotype get affected. So this is F1 generation. When crossed, we get the ratio of F2 generation that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Again, this 9 is when both the characters are dominant. At least one allele of both the characters should be present in a dominant state. This 3 when gene A is recessive, B is dominant. This 3 when A is dominant, B is recessive. This 1 when both the characters are in recessive state. This we are learning from quite few videos. So this is the ratio of our F2 generation in case of dihybrid cross. Now how the ratio will get affected in case of duplicate recessive? Duplicate recessive when either epistatic or hypostatic gene is in recessive state. So where you can see this? This is when epistatic gene is in recessive state. This when hypostatic gene is recessive state. This when both are in recessive. That's only duplicate recessive. So how the ratio will change? This 9 will remain 9, but these 3 will get added up. So it becomes 9 is to 7. So the new ratio is 9 is to 7. So no need to remember the ratios separately for the epistatic interactions. If you remember the dihybrid cross ratio and if anybody will tell you this name of the epistatic interaction or the type of epistatic interaction, you can easily get the new ratio. Now how the test cross ratio, test cross ratio is always 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. How it will get affected? This will where both the characters are dominant. So it will remain 1. In rest all of the condition here B is recessive, here A is recessive and here both the characters are recessive. So these three will add up together and the ratio will become 1 is to 3. Now the example for this is a flower color in sweet pea plant. Here we have two genes, gene A, epistatic, gene B, hypostatic gene. And how it get affected? The ratio is 9 is to 7. So here you can see 9 is for purple, the rest all giving the white color. That is where epistatic gene is recessive, hypostatic gene recessive, and both the genes are in recessive state. That is 9 is to 7. There is some substrate which is white in color on which the gene A act and convert this substrate into an intermediary product. Now this intermediate product is also white in color. In this intermediate product, another gene that is gene B function and convert it into the final product which is purple in color. Now your homework again to write the phenotypes in case of test cross. Do let me know in the comment section. If you found the video informative, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for the next video notification. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.